I love sketching in fresco and inspiration strikes. Here I'm creating some cool composition thumbnails with the pixel brushes and blocking in some shapes for eggs that I'm going to be making an Easter illustration with. Next I'm going to use the watercolor and oil paint live brushes to give these eggs a little bit of character and bring them into a 3D space. I also love using clipping masks to ensure that when I'm painting I don't go out of the lines of my shapes. If you'd like to open your fresco files in Photoshop, all you have to do is open Photoshop, navigate to your work, and select your fresco file from the documents list. Let's separate these eggs and then start making them look super unique. What I'm going to do is create some tileable patterns and show you how to save them so that you can use them in your future projects. If you would like to preview the tileable pattern that you're creating as you're creating it, it's super easy to do. All you have to do is turn on Pattern Preview by going to View and then Pattern Preview. And you can see everything as you're beginning to make it. As I mentioned before, you can actually save and store your tileable patterns for future use by going to Edit, Define Pattern, and hitting OK. This is a really cool thing to do because I can bring these patterns into separate projects and separate files like I'm going to do going forward for this particular project and it makes things very, very easy. Next, I'm gonna get a little creative with some colors and distort filters. If you go to Filter, Distort, and Wave, you can get this really interesting cacophony of shapes and movement that I'm actually gonna use for one of my eggs. Now in my egg file, what I'm doing is just dragging and dropping my patterns into my file over top of my eggs. If you don't see your patterns panel, you can go to Window and Patterns and it will open up for you. Here I'm experimenting with some blending modes just to give it a little more depth. Next, what I'm going to do is warp patterns around these eggs for 3D effect. If you press Ctrl or Command T to activate Free Transform, you can right click whichever item you are free transforming and select Warp. It gives you a really nice organic sort of flow to your transform feature that looks really cool, I think in this case, for kind of a round spherical egg. Using the same file transition method as before, I've come back to Fresco for some finishing touches. I'm utilizing clipping masks still in order to add a bunch of details and finishing touches to each individual egg without breaking the borders of each of those eggs. And it's, it's really fun. It's really great to come in and use some of the wonderful Fresco brushes because they're so buttery smooth and so fun to use. I love exploring the blending modes in the effects panels, and you can too if you'd like to add a little more texture and color to your work. Finally, I'm adding some extra details towards the bottom to make these eggs look like they're really sitting down in a scene. And that is it, folks. That is my finished spooky Easter piece.